and welcome to day to day ray with me your girl ray ray you noticed uh my ears this morning <laughs> i you guys know i love fairies um i ordered these from wish they were like a dollar 20 something and they just slide over your whole ear i didn't like the ones that clip on um i actually use i am going to like not cosplay well it is cosplay i'm creating a fairy character on my tiktok and it's so funny because graveyard girl i don't know if you guys watch her or not she just did this whole fairy thing and it was amazing um i actually ordered these a while ago i also have i call this my alter ego on um tiktok as well um oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh oh. I don't really have a name for it, but it's like a little fox and she lights up oh, and it like flashes and does all kinds of cool things. Um, so she's like my little alter ego. Like she's cute, but evil. That's kind of what I'm going with. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to week two after my weight loss surgery. So, I got some things to talk about. Um, so, this week, um, I got on the scale this morning. Me personally, Luna, what are you doing? Luna. Mm -hmm. So, this morning, I got on the scale. Now, when I weigh myself, I try to weigh myself the same time of day. Um, I didn't weigh myself all week. I just weighed myself this morning. Um, only on Thursday, Thursday mornings, every week I'm going to weigh myself. <sighs> um, last week I was what, 320? Um, this morning I was 312. Yay, hip hip hooray, eight pounds. Um, I do start soft, the soft food diet, um, this morning. I was so super excited that I didn't have to blend and puree my hard boiled egg um and i didn't have to puree cottage cheese um there had callie do you just know when the camera's on um so this week was of course definitely easier than the first week two weeks done in the record book um my blood sugars have been good um i'm getting all my protein in uh, but I have discovered this week that um, not getting enough water hurts the bum. <laughs> so over the weekend, like TMI, I'm going to be talking about constipation. If you don't like to talk about or hear about constipation, I'm sorry. But this is real life. This is what it is. This is what I have been dealing with. So last um last weekend it was uh sunday and um i hadn't used the restroom did number two um since tuesday i believe it was it was like right yeah because my appointment was wednesday my i did caca tuesday and i was like so excited but then i didn't have to go again until like i felt like saturday I remember like i felt like saying I was like I feel like I have to go poop you know and then Sunday I had the feeling all day and I had cramps but there was just nothing so um finally by Sunday evening I was up I was around out and about and I guess I had worked it down so I was like oh I gotta go to the bathroom so actually no this was Saturday I lied this was Saturday because Sunday okay yeah yeah, yeah. so this was Saturday Sorry for the confusion. Um, oh my God, Callie, come on. I'm trying to do stuff and my desk is already a mess because of you. She's knocked over all my medicines. She's knocked over all my papers. She went like surfboarding on a stack of papers down all over the desk. My medicine bottles went everywhere. It was a hot mess and I was a little bit angry about it. Um, here, let me take these off because I feel like I'm screaming, but I'm not because you can't, it's kind of like you have seashells up to your ear the whole time. Um, so yeah, um, so this was Saturday 
and I was like okay I feel the need to use the restroom so Saturday evening I was like oh you know I was cleaning up the kitchen after dinner and I was like I feel like I have to use the restroom and um I went in and I sat down whatever and um I was in there for a long time so long my leg was falling asleep um like my stomach hurts and that's the thing like I didn't want to bear down because I didn't want to hurt anything because I'm still fresh out of surgery so to speak um so I didn't want to bear down I didn't want to have to push and if I did it was very very gently um just trying to give it and the pain was like like oh my gosh it felt like a watermelon was trying to come out and I was like oh my gosh like I was in pain it hurt so bad and it felt like when I stood up it felt like a butt nugget like that's that's all I could call it sorry if this is gross I don't mean to be gross but this is true life this is this is the deal with the surgery. I mean, it's a part of it. You figure if you're not getting in enough fluids, you're not getting in enough whatever, this is this is part of it. Um, so when I would stand up, it just felt like a rock, like was between the cheeks. And my husband wanted to go to the store. I'm like, just go without me. Like, it was so uncomfortable. I started walking around the house trying to get it to deploy <laughs> it was terrible and I had tears in my eyes I had even brought my kitchen stool into the bathroom with me and um put my feet up to try to like get it and it did help a little bit and then I would like I went to the bathroom upstairs because the bathroom down here is super small so then I changed positions I went to the bathroom upstairs and I was like leaning forward like all the way down to the floor but it was hurting my stomach like my stomach was starting to hurt like where my incisions were and then at two points my body like did this involuntary like I had no control over it push and it did it twice and I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh like it kind of freaked me out I'm not gonna lie I, I kind of freaked out about it and it kind of pushed on its own and some had come out and relieve some of the pressure from standing up but it was just this constant constant pressure um we did not have a stool softener at the time or my lanta or anything like that i think it's my lanta is it my lanta or maylox or whatever it is that makes you poop um mag milk of magnesium is that like is that the same thing as my lanta like i don't know um but yeah also quick shout out to my girlfriend she gave me these these are actually the recommended thermoses for um after weight loss surgery she gave these to me last week um every Thursday we're going to go over and have dinner at her house um so this is a camelback I guess water bottle but the thing with this is because you have to be careful of getting air intake which is something I have actually been struggling with. I don't think a lot of people actually talk about this, but when you eat, you have to be careful what air you take when you take a pill, things like that. So this Camelback thing is amazing. So this is the top. So you have to actually, it looks inappropriate. I'm so sorry, that's just me and my dirty mind, but you actually have to squeeze it open and then the, it comes up and then it stays there. So you're not actually getting that air. And then, um, but it's like really, really good. I love it. Um, she actually gave me two of these cause she said she didn't really care for them. So she gave me two of these. My son actually really likes it. So he's actually been drinking water. More power to him. I don't care. I'll share with my son. Um, but yeah. So you just squeeze it and you get less air. I thought it was really super cool. Anyway, back to constipation. Um, so, uh, 
excuse me so yeah so saturday night was super super rough for me i was my stomach hurt because i was straining a little bit too much so my stomach was sore i had cramps it was very it was a painful situation it was a very painful situation um i have never i've had constipation before i get constipation a lot like i'm not gonna lie um but that was the worst the worst feeling and the worst that i have ever had it in my whole entire life i'm not even gonna lie um it was the worst so um sunday morning i got up my roommate did go and get me a stool softener i did not take it that night because me and my husband were going to recruit some vendors for the holiday bazaar at the fire station so because of that i didn't want to take it and then have to keep pooping or something you know i didn't want to have the bubble guts or anything like that and plus we had regular errands to do like we were gone for like four hours four or five hours so um we left at like nine in the morning and got home at like 12 one o'clock in the afternoon so um so we were gone all day soon as i walked in the door because there was still that pressure there was still still like this heaviness and heaviness in my lower belly um i say my lower jelly roll because that's just the area that you know there was still just this heavy heavy feeling and i was like oh my gosh so i came home and i guess after walking all day because i felt it coming home i was like i think i may have to try to poop again and my husband's like well you know you got to do what you got to do so as soon as we came home we started putting stuff away and i was like oh, and he's like what and i was like i have to go to the bathroom and lo and behold it was still painful but it was magical it was such relief afterwards i just felt like oh, like come get the free wicker wicker set that's in my toilet right now <laughs> but i mean that's how it was now last night um so i have still been napping i said in my target vlog um i have been getting up super early in the morning like 5 30 6 30 in the morning which is good i'm not fighting it because i'm gonna have to get up early anyway when school starts which is like in two weeks oh my god so um so basically i uh last night i couldn't sleep last night and i was busy i was doing stuff cleaning whatever and because I've kind of been like a lazy bones ain't even gonna lie because by the time like the other morning I got up at 5 30 by 1 2 o'clock I was like fighting to keep my eyeballs open and I would take a nap and the thing is is that I'm still going to bed at like 12 1 in the morning which is like about what time I go to bed anyway um and I sleep now last night I went to bed at 1 I laid down because I kind of slept all evening not all evening but i took like a three hour nap yesterday which i shouldn't have um and i got up and i did laundry and like i you know went about my everyday life um and then i couldn't sleep last night so and i did try um some halo top ice cream last night i had a quarter of a cup of it it was delicious it stayed down but it did make my tummy hurt and i'm like oh why does my tummy hurt and i laid there all night my stomach was like cramping and things like that and i'm like oh it kind of feels like i need to use the restroom i was like oh maybe i have to do number two again and lo and behold three o'clock in the morning i'm doing a power poop <laughs> and i was in there for probably like 45 minutes it felt good it felt great and <laughs> I mean, I slept till eight this morning. I got up, I had another round and I was like, yes. So that was good. Like it wasn't as bad. I did up my water intake because they said to get at least 64 ounces. I was talking to my girlfriend who was out, who had the surgery. She said, no, up your water intake to 
90 to 90 to 100 ounces of fluids so um i probably should drink more water i've been drinking a lot of crystal light um i've been putting iso pure in it but believe it or not yesterday all by myself without any um muscle milks or anything like that i was able to get my whole total um i got 100 grams of protein in and i drank these are 75 milliliters and i forget how many ounces this is but I drink like I've been trying to drink a minimum of four of these with liquids every day. Um, I drink like I put water in them. I'll put crystal light in them. Um, I really want my tea so bad. I might try tea. Um, I'm just actually glad that I'm off the puree stage because I have to say the puree stage is kind of rough. Like I ate <laughs> eggs a lot. Um, I would put eggs in the bullet with a little bit of spicy mustard and a little bit of mayonnaise. It was good. But eating it for breakfast and lunch and dinner because, so I have been trying to puree dinners and stuff like that. And one night my husband made this really good like crock pot. Um, it was like a stew. And it was like a chicken stew, chicken bacon stew, but it had so much grease in it from the bacon, it upset my stomach. I pureed it. I took the, actually took the bacon out. I left like the piece of meat, but I took the fat and stuff out. And I left the veggies in it. And I left the chicken and I put um, just a touch of mayonnaise just to give it like a creamy. And I pureed it. And it was really, really good. But the consistency was like, oh. Um, I ate my puddings, um, I ate a lot of yogurt, um, I was able to eat chicken salad, I had um, chicken strips, my husband made chicken strips one night so I pureed one of those, uh, or chicken tenderloins, not like strips with the breading and stuff like that, but tenderloins, he had oven roasted some tenderloins, I did puree one of them, again with some spicy brown mustard, I love spicy brown mustard, I, I just... I can tolerate it so it doesn't bother me um, and I did get some of the Duke's light olive oil mayonnaise so I'm not using the regular mayonnaise um, so that's the mayonnaise that I just do a little squirt in there just to kind of give it some moisture to help it go down um, I did eat a fruit I kind of felt I felt like my sugar my blood sugar may have been dropping the other day so I ate one of the cottage cheese and fruits and it was a pineapple one nobody likes the pineapple and I pureed it and it was I was able to keep that down one thing I did try <laughs> that I was so sad about oh my god I was so sad about it but my husband said it was probably because it was too harsh of a food to introduce too soon he said you probably should wait till you're because now I'm on like I said I'm on the soft food diet now for two weeks and then after four weeks I can start introducing regular food but I have to chew very well so I have um so he made Italian sausage I love Italian sausage love it it was so good it smelled the house smelled so good um I'm now learning also my hunger pain like when people get hungry there's a distinct like you know what i'm saying i don't have that it's a twin it's like i try to explain to my husband it's kind of like a twinge but it's one that you can easily forget like you kind of feel it like i woke up the other morning and i kind of had like this weird i was like am i hungry like i feel like I could be but it's not like a hunger pain so I was like okay um, I'm still very cautious not to push my luck I did push my luck one day for lunch I had I mixed a chicken pouch they have like the little chicken pouches um, I mixed that with a hard-boiled egg some relish and um, spicy brown mustard and a little squirt of mayonnaise and I mix that and you parade that and then I had a laughing cow cheese with it and I ate that it was probably a half a cup of salad after it's been pureed and because um, I have been measuring I have like a little measuring cup that I've been putting my food in and um, but I didn't measure it this day I don't know why but I didn't measure it 
and I ate, took my time, I ate that, and then I ate the laughing cow cheese, and then I think I took a bite of, I don't know, yogurt or something. Um, I finally like felt that, whoa, full feeling. I had like right here, excuse me, I had right here like um, heaviness. It was just heavy. And I'm like, okay, I pushed my limit. I didn't feel too, like I didn't feel nauseous, but I felt like disgusting. Like I felt like, ugh, like I just, I didn't feel good. And of course you can't drink um, a half hour after you eat. So I'm just like, oh, and that's the worst because especially after eating tuna fish, tuna fish isn't the best. Um, last week it wasn't, I ate tuna fish. I did pureed tuna fish, uh, I think over the weekend and it like made me feel weird and funny. And even though it's on the list of things that I can eat, I didn't like how like I felt afterwards, but I might try it this week. Um, so we'll see. Um, but the Italian sausage pureed was not good. <laughs> I was so sad. It made me, it was like, uh, I don't know if it was the spice or the texture, the texture number one. I felt like I was eating a gourmet cat food and I'm like, oh my God. It's like, this is so terrible. Like, I was so sad. Like, I'm not even gonna, going to lie. I was so sad. I was like, no. <sighs> oh, I was so disgusted. Like, I was so mad. Like, I actually did leave a little bit in when I, because I got up from the table. I put it on a plate. I gave it to the cats. And I was like, this is terrible. Like, I am so mad about this. And, um, and then I started feeling sick and like a little nauseated. Like I tried, I took like two or three spoons, like small spoons, like kind of baby, baby spoon size. And I'm like, ugh. and my stomach started gurgling and it started bubbling and I started feeling nauseous. And I'm like, ugh. I was so, I was like, no, I can't. But I did leave like one little spoon in it and put an egg in it. And then, so it kind of tastes like sausage and eggs. But I was like, oh, I was so sad. My husband's like, well, you know, you can't eat it now. We'll try after October because October um, 8th will be my eight weeks. Um, and then that's when you can try more harder to digest foods. Like I can't have salads or anything until after October, whatever it is, October something um, is my eight week appointment. My goal weight for October is 2.99. I'm at 3.12 this morning. So maybe by next week I'll be three and then the week after I'll be maybe in the twos, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that has been this week of adapting and learning and like experiencing new things. Um, one thing too is um i if you saw my video on my, my tiktok video that i posted on my day-to-day -day rate page of me making pudding with my muscle milk there's a trick i wanted to tell you guys um so my pudding didn't set up the bottom set up it was weird because the top was liquid the bottom wasn't it was kind of gross um i did eat them but i wasn't happy about them um I think by the last couple containers, I just kind of dumped them out because they were kind of gross tasting. Like, um, but you need some kind of a milk fat to be able to solidify. I use fat-free milk and muscle milk. There is no fat in muscle milk. Um, and then I use fat-free regular milk and that just, it didn't help. I need, you need some kind of milk fat in order to make the pudding. So on that note, I'm like, now I know um, so if you were to make them use like a 2%, you have to have some kind of milk, milk fat in it in order for it to solidify. But yeah, so that has been my week. Um, I actually 
went through my closet this morning because I don't see it, of course. I'm not gonna see it, I'm not gonna notice it. The other day when I went out to Target, I wore my dress and I was like, the dress didn't feel right on me. And I'm like, why does this, like, cause before it was like tight in this area and it was like all like from like, I don't know. And it wasn't tight, it was still tight on the one part of my belly, but not like how it normally is. And I walked into my the husband's den and I said, babe, I said, does this look okay? Like, I feel like it looks weird. It looks frumpy or something. And he's like, Ray, you're losing weight, babe. And I'm like, well, this is true. You know, he's like, it's going to take, you know, you're not going to see it. But as time goes on, it's not going to drop right off. It's going to be, you know, and, um, so this morning I was going through my closet, I went down in the basement, I went through my totes, um, and I have a big bag for Goodwill, and I also have a big pile to put on Poshmark. So again, if any of you guys want or like any of my clothes, um, I will put them on Poshmark. My good stuff, like I'm not gonna put my used and abused like crappy stuff on Poshmark. That's going to Goodwill. Um, not Goodwill, I don't donate to Goodwill, but, um, you know what I mean, like to a consignment shop or whatever, secondhand store. Um, I'm mad because they closed the Salvation Army because I was donating to them, so. And I would call Purple Heart, but this really isn't good enough stuff for Purple Heart because I always donate to Purple Heart because I like them because they'll come to the house and pick stuff up. But, um, it's not enough. You have to have, like, a minimum like amount of stuff to whatever but yeah so week two update I'll put my pictures I did take pictures this morning um so I will insert them at the end so yeah that is this week's update um I have some stuff coming up that I want to do god willing I have the energy this I'm feeling better today um I hope this is like the switch that I need so I don't need like sleep all freaking day um my incisions are healed up pretty good actually the tape I was itching because they're like of course itchy and itchy means healing um I have one incision like right here you guys can't see it but I was itching and the whole tape came off with the scab and I'm like oh <gasps> But you don't even, it's like not even a mark. There's like nothing even there. So um, the tape is coming off and um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So on that note, let me let you guys go because this is now a half hour vlog and I did not intend for it to be a half hour vlog, but I feel like there was a lot to talk about. So that was, of course, like I said, everybody, well, I have, of course, everybody knows everybody's different, your journey. If somebody's gonna go through this or whatever, your journey may be different. Knock on wood, I'm doing good with it. I'm doing okay. I'm not pushing my limits. I'm not, cause I don't wanna get sick. I don't want dumping syndrome. I don't, I'm not saying I'll never get it, but I'm trying my best to be good and not disrupt that like I said last night I was so scared with the halo top but I only had a quarter cup of it so I did pretty good and it was a caramel macchiato um I still can't have caffeine but I might try to push that envelope this week um I think that's I mean I've been drinking calamine tea which calamine tea for me has been working amazing um also one thing I've noticed is this week just with the weight loss that I've had so far, my knee <coughs> excuse me, my knees have been feeling better. The only days that it was bothering me was when it was rainy, and um, so yeah. Uh, one big project that I think I have to do this weekend. I think we're just gonna close our pool because um, I still can't really go swimming yet. Like they said, wait two weeks, but my. I'm still not comfortable with that and the pool we haven't had any rain and we have to drain the we have to clean the filter and in order to clean the filter we have to take water from the pool and clean the filter and the pool needs to be vacuumed we've shocked it but the whole bottom of the pool is green so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it and um, clean the bottom of the pool let the water drain out disconnect the pump empty the pump do all that and just winterize it put the cover on the pool and call it a day because by the time school starts 
getting back into a routine, getting back into a schedule. We're all gonna be tired the first couple weeks of school um, and then just feeling our flow. We're not gonna have time to go into the pool. So yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that my journey inspires you. Um, thank you guys for coming with me on my journey and giving me the pushes and stuff that I need and advice because I have a lot of my most wonderful subscribers who give me great advice and I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, so yeah, thank you guys and I will see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Remember to be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. And as always, I love you guys. Bye.